Hey everybody, this is Dr. Bavesh Patel. I'm here with Dr. Edwin Lee, one of the top docs, always gives lectures at the Age Management Medicine Conference. I'm really excited to uh, chat with him. Uh, I know everyone already knows who you are, but do you want to just go and tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, my name's Edwin Lee, and uh, I'm, my practice is in Orlando. I'm a board national speaker, and I've published many studies. And I'm really into the wellness and trying to reverse aging. Uh, uh -huh. So there's a new test uh, that looks at your biological age. Okay. I'm not quite sure if you've been doing this test, but I have that. So tell me about that. So yeah. So the company is called uh, True Diagnostic, and they okay. look at. Okay. I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They're looking at your ep specific markers on your DNA. So it's it's the whole principle is epigenetics. Is how much trash you have on your DNA. Yeah. And when we are born, you have very little trash. But as you get older, you have more trash. <laughs> right, 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 right. And it will give you. Well, what, what causes you the? What causes the trash? Oh, it's poor lifestyle. It's uh -huh. eating, you know, fast food, a lot of fried foods, yeah. high sugar, processed food, stress, right. lack of exercise, lack of sleep. All right. And but just to like bring it down to hormonal imbalance. Hormonal imbalances, which we obviously that's what we do. We do a lot of that. But I don't think people, everyone knows really what epigenetics means. So right. I know it's helpful. Epigenetics, very simple, is um, it, epigenetics is really um, what's on top of your DNA. So okay. So we have our DNA, right? And imagine that's all the words in the book, right? And if you put tabs to on the side of the book, right. That's really epigenetics. So if you have a lot of like those little two buttons, not two by two, but little like those. No, from my understanding, though, epigen epigenetics is also like you can just turn genes on and off. Is that kind of the same thing? Or are you talking about like. Yeah, so uh, the, the true definition of epigenetics is really how our environment affects the expression of our genes. Okay. So it's like if you have a stressful job, you, you can turn on and turn off these genes. So there's right. a protective gene, for example, called P53. Which right, protects you against cancer. Right, but if you have a lot of trash that that's on that gets on the promoter site before the gene, it doesn't get expressed at all. So you cannot have that protective gene or protein to protect you against getting rid of early tumor cells. Okay, so if that gets turned off, you get cancer. Right. Okay. So epigenetics is it's really just the turning on, turning off genes through our environment. But with this test, it gives you your cellular age. And okay, how does is, it do that? Well, they look at, uh, they've been looking at this for, 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 for like over 20 years. Okay. And uh, there's these guys that have developed these clocks and algorithms. So if you get your blood work done and send it out to these labs, they use certain algorithms and they don't need to know your age Okay. They don't need to know your sex. They don't need to know your weight. They can tell you if you smoke, if you drink. They can tell you what your really? immune system is without flow cytometry. They could look at this test. This test a lot of information. That huh, they give wow. you a risk of diabetes when you're going to die. Okay. Now, I don't know if everybody wants to know that. After rate, rate, of, rate of aging. Okay. They will tell you your risk of diabetes, heart disease. All right. It's truly amazing, and it still grows. I mean, there are more and more studies that come out. Uh, so it gives you your cellular age, and so what do you do? Yep. Reduce it. Yeah, that's come what I want. Come to my mastermind meeting, <laughs> okay. and we'll talk about that. All right. So real quick, though, so you're saying that this test has got that much predictive value. Oh. But the most important piece, though, because I think people always want to learn, like, is this immutable or can something, you know, can you modify these things? Obviously, we know there's lifestyle things we can do. We do the kind of medicine where we help people stay young and healthy and all that kind of stuff. But let's just say, for example, if, uh, I don't know, if I knew that I was going to get a cancer, what are like two or three things like someone can do? Even if they don't get to come to your mastermind, there's just an average patient, right, right, right. average person. It's like, what's one thing that everyone should do besides cut sugar? Because we already know that one. Before you answer that, let All me right. just mention that I did a study. Okay. 21 people in our study. Okay. We did a therapy trial. Okay. And in six months, everyone got younger. My biological age okay. dropped by four years. In six months? In six months. I am doing another trial. That's pretty trial. awesome. Okay. 
That's pretty I'm, awesome. I'm doing another trial okay. with my patients, but I have so many people who want to get in this study, and we don't. I don't pay you to do so. You pay us to for all these labs. They're expensive. So yeah, how much does a true diagnostic lab test cost? It's about four hundred dollars. That's not that bad. Yeah. So people pay, pay yeah. Yeah. so four hundred bucks. And how often would you recommend people do a test like that? Once a year. Okay. Uh, so once a year, four hundred dollars, and then you can see the results in six months. Yeah. So what we did was we used something called senolytic therapy. Okay. And it's it's a combination of two things. One's natural. Okay. Called quercetin. Okay. U U E R C E T. Yeah, but a lot of people are taking that because of COVID. Yeah, so quercetin is a natural flavonoid. It's really the uh, pigment of some certain fruits and vegetables. Yeah. So you take we they were taking 500 milligrams of quercetin. Okay. For three days in a row, with something called dacetinib. D A. Oh, the dacetinib. Oh yeah. Some people are asking me about that. Yeah. That which is, is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, yeah. a prescription drug. Right. That treats certain types of blood cancer. Right. But we're using low dose, three days a month, and in combination, it destroys your bad cells called zombie cells or senescent cells. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. By itself, it doesn't do it. I love the word of the zombie cells. Yeah. So that's so pretty good. I have patients because I need the zombie cell killers. You need to take both. Okay. Gasitin and quercetin. So my paper hopefully will be published in a couple months. Hopefully, you know, there's always edits and all that. Right, 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 right. It, it'll be a cool study. So you asked, what is one simple thing you could do yeah. to improve on aging? Mm -hmm. And it's very simple. What's up? There's two. Okay. Sleep okay. and exercise. Most Sleep's people, a big one, and I took the day off yesterday to sleep because I was so exhausted. Yes. I went so early. hundred times better. <laughs> I was not looking that good yesterday. I was, I was at an Indian wedding. These things are like three, four day events with West Coast, so I definitely needed to, uh, to rest. Uh, what about intermittent fasting? Does that fit in there? Because I know, yes. like, when people talk about intermittent fasting, you get that you get that sort of that housekeeping of the senescent cells, or would you call it zombie cells? Yes, I call them zombie cells. Yeah. So there was there's a, there a published study that shows that uh, with caloric restriction, okay, uh, they did it for a year, and a lot of people go, yeah, I do intermittent fasting, but in one year, how much weight do you lose? Well, my understanding is that if, if people are intermittent fast, your you, your muscle mass goes up a little bit and your body fat percentage goes down. Well, in this study, if you didn't lose 15% of body weight, uh -huh. you're not doing it right. So okay, interesting. They, they basically had a dietitian. Okay. They had the meals given out. They had a, they had a psychologist. Okay. Because you're going to go crazy. Yeah. A thousand calorie about a thousand calories a day. Two uh huh. Um, and they all got younger biologically. Their rate of aging really went down by caloric. Now strength. you said to be doing intermittent fasting correctly. I've heard like 16, eight. I've heard sometimes you can fast for uh, more like you only eat only for six hours. Well, then there's time restricted eating versus fasting. Like some people say coffee, some people say just it's water. All, it's all over the place. It's all over the place, yeah. What do you think? What's your favorite? Well, Walter Longo, who's a age, uh, he studies longevity, and he has a study that showed that uh, their blood pressure improved, they've lost weight, their bl uh, blood sugar also improved. So, okay. Um, and that was basically a thousand calories intermittent. I mean, they do five days in a row per month. Yeah, okay. And it's just like uh, you two small meals, a thousand calories, no alcohol for those five days. Okay. And uh, it, it's and then he has some supplements you could take, but right. the thing is that uh, it's not organic, and so I have a lot of patients who just want organic stuff. Yeah, so. right. But anyway, who's who's the doctor at UCLA? Uh, Pandya or Sandhya? Do you know who I'm talking about? I think um, Rhonda Patrick talks about him a lot, but never mind. Okay. So there's Dr. Steve Horvath, Dr. Fahey, who did the- Horvath I've heard of, yeah. But they, they, they're- the They're all, big, they're, the, they're the big guys. Know, they're the big guru who developed this epigenetic clock. Okay. Where they did pan tissue, whole, any okay. organ, they got samples of- Really? Every part, every part of your brain. Okay. Your lungs, your heart, every really? organ, okay. your blood and looked at your whole genome sequencing right and looked at also the, your epigenetics yeah. okay and came down to 350 about 353 particular sites on your dna with the okay. trash on your dna right and, and this is, that's and basically gives you a biological clock 
Now, you don't, right. I, I read the paper. <laughs> yeah. Like, Where do you get the brain? Like, how do they do it? Yeah, and I don't know I how thought, they, yeah. And it's like, I read the paper and it says, oh, it's cadaveric. People who died. Okay, so they their looked body and To science. To science. Uh, so, okay, so the true diagnostic test, only $400. I, 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 or so I, I approximately, know, approximately, whatever it is. Yeah, okay, and then. Exactly. The price has dropped. But here's a test that you can get. Uh, you can see how bad you are or how good you are. In six months, you were able to reduce your biological age by four years. My That's wife impressive. three years. Your wife three years. Everyone in the study stopped aging. That's incredible. And you said you said sleep, and I think interrupted you. You said what's the other exercise? And exercise. And what kind of exercise? At least uh, I, I. They say thirty minutes, five days a week. You can start off with that if you if you're into it, like me. Uh, sometimes I have an addiction, so I have to get that. <laughs> but uh, but I, I just love to swim and bike and to get out. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you I know? really think 45 minutes uh, to an hour, five days a week. You mix it with cardio and weights. Okay. Um, I, resistance training. I think that's great. Yeah. I'm more on the cardio because I'm still. I, I like to try to beat the young kids. The young kids at yeah. the. Are you? Uh, what kind of bike do you have? I have a racing bike. I have a Trek Imanda. Yeah. SR, so. I used to have a Trek Madone. It got uh, stolen. Now I oh. now I ride a uh, I just ride a single speed, which I have I have the most fun. Oh, I have with a single speed. speed. Yeah. It's just yeah I don't know why it's just it's just agile. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I can't remember if you Orlando. live around, you're in Orlando, so you're right in the Florida area. Are you still taking new patients? No. I know you're really busy. No patients for you. No, I've closed my practice. I have a nurse practitioner. Uh, Becky, and if you're interested, you can call my office. Um, All right, if somebody wants to follow you, are you doing stuff online? Do you have like a... I have zero uh, social, social media because okay. I don't trust it. But I'm brand new, so this is... Ed, Dr. Lee has been c kind enough to do my first video interview here, so I really appreciate Thanks. that. If somebody uh, wanted to reach out to your nurse practitioner or somehow get involved with your practice, how would yeah, they do that? Just uh, Google Dr. Edwin Lee. Um, DR, or just, just just Google Dr. Edwin Lee, Orlando. Uh, I'm on the first three pages. This guy's got books published. He's a well-known uh, well-known guy. I met you probably 10 years ago, yeah. I guess, when, yeah. we, when, you, when we first started in age management. When I first started, I think you were probably pretty new too. His lectures have always been like just awesome and, and uh, Anyway, uh, any last it's really exciting. This it's just world. exciting. It's been yeah. Yeah, we're we're making differences. And uh, anyway, well, yeah. To, at the know, mastermind class, we're going to talk advanced things. I can't. All right, let's now. talk about the mastermind <laughs> thing. I know it's not exactly for patients; it's more for doctors. But look, let's just go, if you don't mind, just two minutes about uh, what the regenerative stuff is, because I know stem cells, pep peptides is one of your thing. That you were, you actually give one of the first original lectures on peptides. Oh, yeah. I don't know, like six years ago. Yeah, so uh, peptides are regenerative. Peptides are small proteins. Um, there are a lot of natural peptides that can help your immune system, help you look younger, help your brain work better. And it's every day I'm just so impressed uh, with peptides. I'm getting more and more. My, my original fear with peptides was that you would get like an antibody reaction. Uh, I think there's some you could with the growth hormone releasing peptides, but the other peptides have been relatively safe. So. What's your favorite? I have, it's hard to say, like, which is your so which, favorite what is, like, which, uh, uh, But I love Epi Talon. Okay. I love uh, GHK Copper uh, to help you look younger and reduce your expression of cancer genes. Okay. Outer beauty, inner beauty, and the peptide BPC157. That's a hot one. I love yeah, that I one, love too. It. I love I, I, um, I have a lot of my patients taken daily. Um, so. I feel like 90% of people who take that have just gotten so much improvement with soft tissue injuries or oh, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. What was the first one you said though for the? Uh... Epithalon. Epithalon, okay. Yeah. It comes from our pineal gland and it resets our cells to divide more. Do you like the one for sleep? What's it called, DSIP? DSIP. I loved it, but it, it stopped working. So. Oh really? Ryan Smith and I were using it at the same time. Okay. Comparing notes, like, oh, <laughs> best sleep ever. Yeah. And then we both kind of like it stopped working Still at the same sleep time. For... God, so you shouldn't do it every day maybe three times uh -huh. a week yeah. because you develop tachyphylaxis. I don't meaning, want that. Meaning that it will stop working the more you use it. Well, tachyphylaxis means like your heart rate's going. No, 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 oh. that's oh, tachycardia. Oh, that's tachycardia, I'm sorry, yeah. tachyphylaxis. tachyphylaxis. Oh, yeah, so, sorry, sorry. All right, but I think that's good. Sure, yeah? yeah, perfect. Thank you so much for doing that. You're welcome.